Welcome to Excel 2010 Statistics video number 23. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210, Excel 2010 Chapter 2, click on the link below the video. Hey, this is our last video for Chapter 2. We want to talk about XY scatter diagrams. Now, XY scatter diagrams show the relationship between two quantitative variables. Now, we've already seen Two, two variables compared. Our last video, we did cross tabulation. So we did cross tabulation here with a pivot table and a chart. But notice we were allowed to do quantitative and categorical variables. We also did cross tabulation comparing two variables and we had two categorical variables. So when we jump to XY scatter diagrams. We're comparing two quantitative variables and we're seeing the relationship between these two numbers. So for example, if I scroll in here, one we can all relate to, hours studied and test score. Is there a relationship? As we go out this axis, we're increasing the variable hours studied. This is our x axis, our independent variable. As we increase our studies, it looks like the pattern is that test scores increase. So that's the point of an xy scatter, comparing two number variables, an independent, a dependent, xy. As this does something, is there some pattern to the way the other one moves? And in this case, it looks like, yes, as this increases, this increases. Our studied increase, test scores increase. Here's an inverse. This is called a direct or positive, right? Direct or positive means increase on the x, increase on the y. Inverse means as we increase on the x, the tendency is that the y decreases. So as absences in a class increase, it looks like the grade decreases. Here's another direct positive relationship. Number of ads on a radio during a week. Car sales, right? That kind of makes sense. But you never know until you collect the data and plot it. Now, so as number of ads increase, car sales increase also. So direct, increase, increase. And then sometimes you get no apparent relationship. This is from our uh, uh, two, sample size 200 uh, transactions from our Boomerang website. Cu as customer age increases, is there any relationship to amount spent? Now you'd think there would be, but in this data set there wasn't a relationship, right? There's no pattern. All right, so in chapter two, again, we're doing uh, descriptive statistics where we summarize either in tabular form or graphical form. This is in graphical form, uh, comparing the two variables and seeing if there's a pattern and a relationship. Let's go do two of these. Here's the sheet SC1. Uh, here's some notes about um, XY scatter, comparing two quantitative variables to see if there's a relationship. You use a scatter diagram. Two numbers plotted, one on each axis. Horizontal is x, vertical is y. And the key is as you move along the x-axis, left or right, you get to some point, And then you move along the y-axis, up or down, and record the point. Right? Now, when you set up your data, here's our hour study and test score, the independent or x variable should always be to the left. Now, it's perfectly possible to plot it if the x is over here. It just takes a bunch of extra steps. The XY scatter charting engine is programmed to see X to the left. All right, so let's highlight. I'm going to click in one cell and use Control Asterisk on the number pad. Insert, scatter. Now, when you have collected data points like this, you want to use the XY scatter to see visually if there's some pattern. If you, for example, we did a cumulative percent cumulative chart, which was called an ogive chart a couple of videos ago. And we had, um, we used this line here, but those, we, we, we didn't collect data there like we did here. This is data we're collecting to see some pattern. There we 
we're summarizing. A similar example where you use a line is like the break even chart in business. But those are a different type of chart. Here, this is actual raw data points, uh, not summarized. It's just the individual data points. So I'm going to select this. And there we see, we can see how cool is that? We plot each point a certain distance out. So this person, this point right here, actually you can point and a screen tip will come up and say this person 16 hour study 88 score all right let's fix this up a little bit I'm going to delete the legend delete always when you do XY you want to make sure that the viewer can understand what is on this axis and this one I'm going to go up to layout axis horizontal title below Notice it's got a solid line, so I'm going to click up in the formula bar, type an equal sign, and click on our study. That's cell A12. Now I'm going to move my chart a little bit out of the way because I know I'm going to have to access that cell right there. I'm going to go up to Access Titles, Vertical Rotated, immediately click up in the formula bar, Equals, and then click in B12. Click here, make sure it's solid, not dashed. Equal, and click on A1. That's our chart title. We can right click, go up to the mini toolbar, and 12. Maybe you want these lines, maybe you don't. I'm going to delete them. I'm now going to add a trend line. Right click, trend line, linear. Down here, display equation in R squared in chapter 14, we'll see how to calculate all of this. And we'll see there's Excel functions to calculate all this stuff. And we'll talk about the equation. That's the slope. That's the y-intercept. R squared um, is not about causation, but it tells you the amount of influence that x has on y. And we'll talk all about those in chapter 14. But the, in this chapter, chapter 2, descriptive statistics, we're just somehow putting our data together in an informative way so we can see the pattern. Now this is direct or positive. As this increases, this one does. Let's go over to SC2 and plot this data. Absences in class and grade. Insert scatter. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to come over here. Click on this, click in the formula bar equals, and I'm going to click in A10. Ooh, right click. I'm going to change the in the mini toolbar the font size to 10, say. OK, I'm going to go up to Layout, Axis, Vertical, Rotated. Click in the formula bar, and I did the Y first. So I'm going to try and click in B12, Enter. And then let's do our horizontal. There it is there. Equal sign. And this is our x, absences in class. So is there a relationship between absence in class and grade? You would think so, right? As the absences increase, the grade tends to go down. Right click, trend line, linear, and click close. All right. so. All we did here in this video is see how to use the scatter diagram, important for descriptive statistics. Uh, later in chapter 14, we'll do a lot of math and uh, see how to learn a lot more about what's called linear regression and the least squared method. All right, that's it for chapter 2. We did descriptive statistics tabular and graphical. We'll see you next chapter, chapter 3, for numerical measures in descriptive statistics. All right, see you next video.